interesting. Okay. Chrome Velm, Fangry. Uh, what head do you have on Fangry? Oh, dear. So I have Grax on Chrome Dome. Makes sense. And I got Ominous on Fangry. So it's Ooh. a it's a blue black. I dig it. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the guys in the Discord, Marcus, he plays a Perceptor lineup like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to try like a more control heavy variant with Chrome Dome. Yeah, I've I've been having a lot of fun with Chrome Dome. Um I, I love Chrome Dome. I love I, them a whole lot. I played on the first Corona Cup. That, yeah, uh, had way five cards, and I, I ended up being top eight, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, I dig it. Um, Chrome Dome is like that's another thing, right? Besides like cards like Counter Espionage, Chrome Dome and Mind Wipe are just two new ways to fuck combine like traditional combiners over. Um, I they played are, right? I played a Chrome Dome list recently against someone who was playing. She was playing uh, Predacons. And mm -hmm. in, like, the first, I got some showing offs, and in the first, like, four or five, I forget how many turns, but I had banished all three of her enigmas. And, it, like, at that point, Jeez. it's like, okay, well, this is just a feel-bad moment. Like, that's, like, the rudest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, no, you, you don't even get to bring them back. I hope you're running, um, what is it, Ancient Wisdom or something to try and... Fish for it back. Oh my yeah. gosh. That's just terrible. See, I'm, I'm actually trying this without any, like, showing offs or, like, anything to try to flip them back and forth. I'm mm -hmm. seeing if naturally that's good enough. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, I feel like if I do want to go more of the hand controller, I do want the showing offs, but I'm playing already a fair amount of blanks in here, so I, get, I think I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play and, right. and see what happens, because I have... I, I understand the idea behind this, but we'll we'll see how it works. Absolutely. All right. Um, I actually didn't bring dice with me, which is unfortunate. I do have tokens though, so I'm not sure how you want to decide who goes first. Um, you just want to call a d20 odds or even. Yeah, that works. Uh, we'll do odds. It's a one. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? Uh. I'll go first. All right. One, two, three. Three, draw for turn. All right. Have you seen these tokens I got? Uh, uh, oh, hey, wait, wait, they're... wait. Hey, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I, I just picked them up. So Bozy Bazaar, she's the one that's yeah. doing my extra life tokens. Oh, is she? Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Well, so... she does good work. Yeah, when those when those come in, um, I, I plan on doing like a little unboxing videos. But I've got um, from the comics, I've got the Ascenticon logo, which was like the precursor to the Decepticons, and then the yeah. G two Decepticon logo. Um, I'm I'm excited for those to come in. They look really cool. I'm not like a I'm not a big Transformers lore guy. I got into the game just because the game is cool. Yeah, Transformers it, it's pretty cool otherwise. But those tokens I saw them, they do look really sweet that you're making. Yeah, my biggest bummer is I forgot to order like one extra set of each. So I'm like, oh, if they sell out, I might just buy like an odd number so I can keep one more for myself next time. Sure, I can see that. All right, starting off, we're gonna flip Chrome Dome. Let's yep. Look at that hand. All right, well, let's see what I've got. I've got security checkpoint, one shall uh, stand, one shall fall, and then a smoke thrower. Oh my, oh my. We're gonna get rid of one shall stand. So let's banish that, that guy. It is going away. Uh, we'll put you over here to remember. All right. And then Night Racer, we're gonna go into uh, Nemesis Prime. Makes sense. Uh, just for three. I'm blocking two, taking one. All right. Uh, we will scrap the handheld blaster for a scoundrel's blaster. Makes sense. Oh, you, sir. All right. Draw for turn. Hmm. Uh, I will. <laughs> Who do we flip? I guess we flip Night Racer for now. Uh, Nemesis doesn't need to flip yet. And let's put a smoke thrower on sights and send sights into Night Racer. Seems good. One, two, hold one, hold two. 
uh, three, uh, nine into Night Racer. Jeez, calm down, Night Racer. Or, uh, slides two, three, four, five, I'll take four. All right, and I will drop a smoke thrower to pick up a triangulator. So what, how many double oranges are you running? Ten? Um, uh, yes, ten. Crazy. All right, drop your turn. Hmm. You're gonna flip crumbo? Yep. Oh. What did you grab from last turn again? The triangulator? Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Play a hollow matter on Chrome Dome. Yep. Uh, and replay espionage call blue. I do have a security checkpoint. Okay, that's right. Uh, yeah, get rid of side track. Uh, Fingry into Sights. Yep. And Sights has seven For stars. four, first four. Uh, blocking three, still taking four. Taking the four. Oh boy, Fingry. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm something in my throat. All right. Draw for turn. Two in hand. Um, all right. I've done four damage to Night Racer. You have. And let's see. Fangry has how much health again? 11? Uh, he's got 11. So that doesn't do me a whole lot. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's flip Nemesis. Let's. Well, I want to play both, but you. Oh right. Um. We'll supercharge Night Racer, and we'll mm, set good. Night Racer and a Night Racer. Yep. One, two, bold one, bold two, bold three, white pip, white pip. Uh. Four, five, seven, pierce one. Uh, two, three, four, five. I'll take two. Yep. Go to six. And I think I do. I got to drop the triangulator to pick up that pocket processor. Pocket processor. That's Your turn. Yep. Drop for turn. Oh, pretty good idea. What's in your hand? Just one card in hand? Yes. Hmm. We'll play a Scoundrel's Blaster on Chrome Dome, because he is a Decepticon. True, true. And flipping, I don't really want to flip anyone. So we'll have Chrome Dome go into uh, Night Racer. Yep. Uh, for six. Blocking three, taken three. Ooh, that's security checkpoint. And not picking up the reprocess. All right. Draw for turn. Yep. Let's play a pocket processor on Nemesis. Seems good. Uh, we'll play hit and run. Flip Nemesis Ooh. to bot mode. Um, yep. I get to move a damage counter from him. Um, let's... Uh, any of my guys you can hit with that. Yeah, and you're not going to take the ping because you have the... You'll you'll pick Chrome Dome for the, uh, the, the ping, so I don't have to worry about that part. Um, you, you're pretty blue heavy, and I... Oh, I'm going to... I think I got to... 
Let's move it to Night Racer and just make sure we get the kill. Sure. Seems good. Um, That's up. And... One. All right. We'll flip Nemesis back. And you, I assume you picked Chrome Dome for the ping. Yep. And we'll send Nemesis into Night Racer. Sounds good. One, two, two. For seven. I will take five and die. Some more blues there. Let me get there. All right. Stand the hidden run is cheap. Yeah, like yeah, it's. I mean, right. Normally, like flipping Nemesis, making sure I can attack in in bot mode, but ping with with his ability is nice because Night Racer doesn't really do much once she flips. For sure, for sure. Okay. Hmm. I have zero cards in hand. I, ha I noticed, unfortunately. That's kind of unfortunate. I, I realize I need, like, another guy that flips decently. Well, I mean... Um, we're going to put the mission on Chrome Dome? Yep. Ideally... Um, oh, right, because the Hollow Matter Projector says my cards, correct? Yeah, your okay. cards. Ideally, my deck is stronger and my hand isn't empty after the first two turns, but, you know, things we learned. Yeah. Hmm. Time to... Yeah, I mean, you could flip because that'll give you tough against Sights and Night Racer, right? Yeah, I think I will do that. We'll give him a fusion board, too. Hey, that'll hit something hard. So he's swinging, what, 7 pier 7? 7 pier 7 into Nemesis. Yeah, seems pretty good. Ah, uh, 8 pier 7. Uh, blocking 2, taking 7. All right. I'll drop a handle blaster for a bashing shield. Yep, yep. And fusion board goes bye-bye. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Draw for pocket processor. Hmm. <clears throat> what? How does Hollow Matter Projector work again? Remind me. Yeah, so the upgraded character can't take non-attack damage from your opponent's cards, but I can't take move. But I can also, but I can take move damage. Yep, yep, yep. That's different. Um, well, that's. Hmm. So I guess that doesn't help me very much. Um, what do we do instead? Well, I guess we'll start out. We'll, have, we'll keep two cards in hand, and we'll yep. flip. Well, flipping doesn't matter because my defense is the same. So until Hollow Matter Projector is gone, I don't have to worry about flipping. Uh, okay. Let's swing Sights into Fangry. Sights into Fangry it is. Get that tough two. One, two, fold one, fold two, three, four, uh, ten. Jeez, all right. I'm at uh, two... Three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I'll take four. Seems Your turn. Good. All right, I will not grab that. Hold the line that's there. Drop your turn. Well, let's. You got two cards in hand? Mm hmm. Let's take a peek at him. I'm guessing no actions. Yeah, no, there is one. Magnetic. I, I was really tempted to play it just to get it out of my hand. Um, oh, but, like, sure. it would have been three damage to me and one damage to you. So, like, what's the point? Yeah. I'll let you banish yeah, I could do that. Banish. And there was a force field in that other hand. Yes, huh? yeah, that's the other one. Okie doke. Uh, we're going to play a pocket processor on my own Chrome Dome. Yep, yep. And we're going to play a secret action. Oh, damn. Oh, dang, indeed. And we're going to go Chrome Dome into my only target. Yep. For, ooh, ooh. No Autobot, though. Uh, attacking for five, six, seven, Pierce, three. Blocking one of it, taking six, 
Sites does die. Uh, Goodbye, Sites. And now I got a decision to make. Um, so. I won't grab this by my scissors. Yep. I think I leave the multi-mission wings on Night Racer. I'm not going to put them on Nemesis because I want to draw two cards next turn. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Draw for turn. Draw <laughs> for super uh, puck processor. Okay. So I will reshuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Oh, no. That's not good. Disgusting. Um. Hmm. And I get to play two things. I guess I'll play a force field on Nemesis. And Did I you put will... a card underneath uh, Nemesis for shuffling? I, I haven't reshuffled yet. Oh, oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. I, I just I know I will in this attack. Yeah, um, that's fair. And let's supercharge Nemesis. So then Night Racer will swing first, and Night Racer will go into Chrome Dome. Okay. Uh, no trigger. One. Here's the reshuffle. Is it after I reshuffle, right? Yeah, when I reshuffle. Yeah, when you reshuffle. See, my... Uh, uh, the, guy, the guys on my locals, and I made this really nasty Nemesis Prime deck in Wave 4. And it was, it was like, just borderline unstoppable. The only thing that stopped it was Galaxy Thrust. It was just ridiculous. Well, yeah, yeah. The those big, right? Those big guy decks in Wave Four, where like you get Galaxy Thrust and your first swing is like twelve or something, and then it's yeah, like, well, and, and it goes into the most important guy because like yeah. the deck was um, now it's a Sky Wave Three Sky Warp and uh, Sky Dive, and it was it was disgusting. Um, oh, focus. So I you were to scrap I... that. Oh, sure, sure. All right. Uh, four, five, seven into Chrome Dome. One, two, three, four. I'll take three. All right. I will swap cards. Uh, drop a magnetic dysfunction ray to pick up a triangulator. And sure. now let's swing Nemesis into Fangry. All right. We'll uh hidden fortification Fangry. Yep. And I got ten. Oh, um, that's not good. Two, fold oh, one, good. fold two, fold three. 10, 11, 12, uh, 18. 18? Okay. Uh, three. I'm going to die. And nothing to pick up there. Scrap all that. Um, let's see. Do I want any of this? I've got one card report. in hand and two cards banished. Cards banished. Yep. Seven on I'm actually going to scrap sabotage armaments for reprocess. That makes sense. Oh, I right. haven't actually been playing a lot of weapons. No, no, and your hand's pretty small too right now, so it's not too concerning. So I'll draw one and draw another for pocket processor. Yep. Okay. okay. It's not terrible. Oh. Uh, right, we don't untap because Ominous still needs to kill someone. The and nice thing the is here, thing. like Force Field might not do anything against Ominous. Like, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it can do enough, right? Uh, we will flip Chrome Dome back to Alt mode. Yep. Given that spicy. Yuck! 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 And just one card in hand? Yes. All right. Hmm. Uh, we're going to reprocess your uh, pocket processor. All right. Hello. Decisions, decision. This is too hard. This is too hard. Oh. <laughs> we'll play Fusion Bore on Ominous. 
I think that makes sense. Yeah. And we're going to have Ominous go... Nine, or... We'll go into Night Racer. All right. Focus two. Uh, drop him. One. What? Two. Eh, didn't make a difference. Uh, blocking two. Uh, five. five pierce five. Five pierce five. Taking that five. Oof. One shall stand. I guess that Ominous does have three health or four health. He's got three health. Would have been nice to draw. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're only running two of them? Uh, one shells? I'm running two of them, yeah. Sure. Uh, draw for turn. Hmm. Um, I think. Why not? I got them in hand. I'll play the triangulators on Nemesis. Brutal. The focus too. Um, and I guess I just need to I need to prevent Ominous from swinging again. It's okay to sacrifice Night Racer to do that. Focus two, right, one, two. Um, right now I'm swinging five, and you you are running blue, but Ominous has zero defense starting out, right? Yeah, zero defense and three health. So the it's kind of squid. If I can get to seven, I kill you. Because the worst you could flip are two, like, double blues. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, so yeah, then yeah. we'll leave it as is. Uh, seven, pierce one. Uh, three, take four. Goodbye, Hominus. Your all right, Grumdo. Be a hero. Yeah. Well, the good news is he's all Voltroned up. It's and true. You do... I want for a pocket processor. Yep, you do kill Night Racer this turn. Yes. <laughs> and how many cards in hand? Nothing. Nothing, huh? All right, Chrome Belt. Zero, eight, two. So you could, you could defend for like four because you got the sec checks. I think it was seven. Yeah, right now, uh, if you want to know, I don't think I have any double blues in my. No. All right, risking it enough is what I'm hearing then. Uh, we're going to get rid of Scoundrel's Blaster for Energon Axe. That seems fair. And we're actually going to set a secret. Yep. Chrome Dome into Night Racer. All right, focus two. Uh, drop both of them. One, two, oh, nope. come on. White Pip. White pit. Get out of there. Uh, four. Four? Uh, four, seven, eight. Uh, taking four, dying. You belligerents. Hmm. Here you go, sir. So you have, uh, 17 health total? I have 18 or health total. 18 health total. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw for turn. Um, shit. I think I gotta play it. I'll play hit and run because it doesn't do anything to you, but... It does the one. Oh, no, it does. Oh, it does. It does, because it moves. Yeah, so I'll play it. Yeah. Uh, good, good point. I totally knew that. It's part of my brilliant strategy. I'm a mastermind. <laughs> okay, so exactly. move Nemesis, and then the ping two doesn't matter, and then I'll flip back. Um... Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay, I got more than enough. Um, we will swing Nemesis into Chrome Dome here. Okay. Uh, I'll play Hold the Line just to yep. kill one. And I can deal a max of 12. I mean, I mean, it won't kill me. Focus two. Oh, that's actually a super good question. What do I have in my scrap? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven out of ten. Um, we'll we'll leave him because uh, that white pip 
gets me one, two. Uh, swing for 11. 11, uh, two, three, four, take seven. Yep. And I am not picking anything up. All right, I'm at 11 damage. Draw for turn, draw for pocket processor. Okay, okay. Uh, no cards in hand. No, unfortunately. We'll get rid of Holomatic Projector and play Fashion Shield. Get rid of that force field. Yep. Yeah, that's good, but we'll play heavy handed on Chrome Dome. Uh, I'm only 11 stars, so I'll just get the plus two from it. Yep. And then Chrome Dome into Nemesis. Yes, sir. One, two, uh, leave them. White Seems pip. good. White pip. Blocking four. Uh, four, seven, eight, nine. Taking five, putting me at nine. Okay. Draw for turn. <sighs> Don't have the. I could ping you. But if I ping you, I've only got two cards left. So, no, better to not ping you. I'll play backup being on, on Nemesis and Being swing good. Nemesis in. Uh, focus two. Uh, yep. We will leave him on top. Gonna reshuffle anyway. Thirteen. Two uh, brutal. Uh, thirteen, eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Takes seven. Uh, gets me exactly. Actually, take uh, right. eleven. Did you say six? Uh, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm I uh, swung with eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Okay, yeah, yeah, that gets me. But now, because you're running one of them dang Titan Masters, you still got... I don't know if I'll get there, though. You're at 9? Nine? 9 of 16? Yeah, so... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta get to 9, and I do have my blues back in my deck and focus, too. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah. At least I'm not... I haven't played a hold the line right now. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So I gotta I gotta do seven damage to you, brutal. I really needed a weapon. In your base, your base thirteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you live on the next turn. I don't think I will. I'm gonna scouting mission myself. Get fishing. Oh man, that that wasn't helpful whatsoever. Enhanced power cell going in. Hey, hey, that's something. Focus uh, two. Four for two. Drop one. I don't have a way to draw triangular. That's a bummer. Uh, blocking four. Uh, Pierce two. From uh, Tammy Crash and Spider Scissors. All right, I was at nine. Now I'm at eleven. All right, here we go, sir. Untap, draw. I guess it doesn't matter now because you can't banish it from my hand. So I'll just I'll have a card in hand. You may have that card in the answer. I allow it. Um, I could flip, but I don't get the plus. Um, now I guess we'll just swing. We'll just swing. I mean, I think that's fair. Focus. Two, I'm defending one, sir. Drop. One, two, bold one, bold two, seven, eleven, pierce one. Uh oh. Well. Uh, uh, you have you seventeen have too. You got two more flips there. We're gonna see how much you get out. Oh of right, this. right, right. So seventeen. 
19. Do we break 20? We don't break 20. Don't break the 20. A little fail. little fail, but you still get me. Yeah. So I think that's, that's good enough. It's very nice, sir. Very nice. Uh, what did we learn? Uh, let's see. Um, sometimes I really wish you had cards in your hand to flip Chrome Dome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Totally mattered. I think the sequencing of your attacks just let it let me not to be able to get to Nemesis quick enough. Yeah, and you were. You, you I think getting there and that, that their power. It was it was pretty pretty ridiculous. And then I think the two hit and runs helped because you got you got some damage on him, but I was able to kind of peel it back a bit. But yeah, you're right. Not being able to pump up Chrome Dome. Honestly, like on my side, I don't know how much. I mean, the focus helped, but. Um, I mean, it got you through your deck quicker, right? I mean, yeah, it was but, almost like you got an extra, like two attacks, an extra attack or defense out of it when you were focusing too. And that's essentially that's that's the essentially the idea here. Like, yeah, it helps me get to certain good pips, but it's more like okay, I've got bold to help me flip extra cards, but also uh, if I want, I can consistently scrap at least two cards on an attack uh, once sites yeah. or the triangulators are out. Um, cause yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have cycled as fast as I did. For sure. Are you, do you want to play these decks again then? Or are you hoping to play? Yeah, we uh, can. We, we can go again if you want. Sure. Let's go for it. I'm down. Let's give that play. a shot. Cause I already, oh, I can think of some things that I would have done differently. Um, yeah, I as well. I had an enhanced power cell in my hand when I bashing shield you. Yeah. Or... Yeah, when I played the Bash and Shield, I thought, I think, I didn't think it would have mattered, but it actually would have mattered in the end, because I would have survived your attack next time if I played that Enhanced Power Cell on Chrome Dome, but it, I did not, I did not, I saved it for Grax, which is a bad choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, at that point, uh, yeah. A Bashing Shield save for Grax might help, like if, I mean, not in this particular situation, but being able yeah, to get rid of I, some I, I, sort I, I, of defense. Yeah, I got excited when I had only Grax left. I drew into an end hostilities. I'm like, ooh, I can blank an attack just about. But I forget you just get static bonuses for being uh, Nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> and having cards in your deck. So I'm like, oh, it's not as good. That's okay. See, I lost, huh? Oh, let's have you go first this time. Let's see how that goes. No. All right. Uh, draw three. Draw for turn. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we got. Oh. Well, well you have options next turn. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and flip Night Racer. Although that side doesn't matter. I'll, I'm only running two secret actions. Um, mm. so I'm guessing I hold the line. Um, no, well, two even the scores. There's things that oh, I, yeah, I take yeah. out. I might actually, like... In tweaking this, the magnetic dysfunction ray, I might drop two or like some copies, maybe split it and put in an extra one shall stand, one shall fall, and then two hold the lines. That's that's a pretty good idea. Um, yeah, and then the sideboard and the, the mag rays. I don't hate that. Yeah. So, okay, we know Sites is going to get a decent enough, well, I think he's going to get a decent enough attack. Um, I mean, he's how, probably, what, nine first turn? It was pretty good. Yeah. The. Um, If I can steal an attack, that would be nice. And I think trying to get rid of Night Racer earlier is to my benefit. So we'll go Sights into Night Racer again. Deal, deal. Uh, focus one, leave it. One, two, uh, seven. Uh, three, take four. Three and three. Uh, we're going to scrap the handheld off there for the Spire Scissors. Hey, that seems good. It's not bad. Drop a turn. Yeah, I could use that last turn. Yeah, I guess that is another thing. I was able to kill Night Racer early enough that I don't think you got benefit from her with your secret actions. Like, by the time you were yeah, playing really secret hard. actions, she was gone. Yeah, and it's really hard for a blue deck to kind of come back against an orange deck when you're able to kill one of my guys before I can kill one of your guys. Just, like, the flow of combat is so yeah, yeah. not in my favor. Yeah, me, yeah, because, like, when it was 3-2, to two, me being able to kill Fangry with Nemesis when I wanted to was... It was pretty good. It was pretty good. We're going to flip Chrome Dome and leave yes. that hand of yours. Those supposed right. options. So, you've got one shall stand, one shall fall again. 
Uh, you've got a, a supporting fire. And you've sure, got a sure. security checkpoint, and then also in here is a force field. Wow, I hit all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I mean, it's gonna be nice that you know these, and it's nice that you can banish one, but also it sucks that I've got all three of these in my starting hand. Uh, we're gonna get rid of another. Oh. Um. Well, actually, not good, not good. We're gonna get rid of a one shot stand. Dude, no, my hands are backwards. That one. Yep, one shell stand shall be gotten out of here. We're gonna put another hollow matter on Chrome Dome. Yep. I don't want to do that. And we're gonna have Night Racer going. Yeah, I think and that, the, like, you getting the hollow matter early also helped a lot because there were, like, it, yeah. it pinged. I could have pung. I could have pung. That's a, that's a different word, but Focus I think it works. One. Drop it. One, two. Blocking one. Three pierce one. Three pierce one, taken two. All right. Draw for turn. How are we host, sir? <sighs> I guess if I was a smarter man, I might have attacked someone else knowing that I could have supporting fired later on, but that's okay. I mean, I, I think it's you're still on the right track of wanting to get rid of Night Racer early, because then yeah. it, it just exposes my Chrome Dome faster, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. You are not attacking this turn. You've got how many cards in hand? Four? Three. I got three, sir. Three so, cards. I could save you for later, but I kind of want to play you now and leave room for later. So we'll do this. We'll go ahead and put the force field on Nemesis. Yes. And yes, yes. anticipation of you having the bashing shield it instead of playing a weapon or <laughs> protecting him on a swing turn. And then fair, we will fair. supercharge Night Racer and go there Night Racer in a Night Racer. No All focus right. this time. One. Two, bolt one, bolt two, bolt three, white oh. pip, white oh. pip, uh, six pierce two. So it might not actually be six doing a ton. Two, yeah. four, I'll take two. And I Real. will hand disruption. I think I'll drop a supporting fire to pick up that triangulator. Sure. Sure. Your turn. Drop spy message bruise for that beautiful reprocess. Yep, yep. Yeah, I guess that's the other thing. Now that you've got reprocess, you can get rid of the force field penalty free. Mm hmm. I, if I want to do that, though, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. It might be better to hold out till. Actually, I'm actually going to bashing shield your force field. Makes sense. And I'm gonna three six. So Chrome Dome. Uh, we're gonna play one shell stand, one shell fall. Do three to Night Racer and do three to your Raider sights. Three to sights. All right. Yep. <laughs> then Fangry's gonna swing into sights. Sounds good. Oh, okay. I see what you're trying to do here. Interesting. Uh, not at all. Not at all. One, two. Um. Four. Blocking two. You said four? Four pierce four. Four, oh, four pierce, right, right. Four pierce four. So he does die. Um, we're going to put. <laughs> we want to get value out of sights. So I guess we'll put him on Nemesis right now, knowing that he will soon be not part of this world. Uh, drop sure. a security checkpoint for a triangulator. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drop the take cover. For the pocket processor. Yep. I'll use her. Draw for turn. Hmm. <laughs> Night Racer has nine damage. Yep, he's got two left. I guess then I will put a triangulator on my own Night Racer. Yep. And will magnetic disruption ray. Okay. 
in here and one. Two. Oh, Night Racer has eleven, not ten. Dang it. Did you want to take that back? Um Which I I could just whip, rip it out of your hand anyway. Yeah, might as well play it, I guess. I mean, I think yeah. you might as well. You still get decent value out of it because you're still doing. It's a two for two, and you yeah. don't. And I'm not fueling my uh, Chrome KO pile. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, I, I think I already played it. Um, but that means that Nemesis has to swing into because I'm not killing Fangry without help. Uh, Fangry. One. Two. Three. Oh, right. I flipped five total. So half. So I guess my chances, because it's like about half my deck is left. And I do have focus mm -hmm. two. And I need to get to 13 to kill Fangry. 14. Uh, let's see. I got one. So I'm at 10 health. 10, uh, 11, 12, 13. Not including corpse. Yeah. And I'm swinging eight. That's a tall ask, even with focus two. But I think... You need two orders and a white. And one more orange. Yeah. And I think... Actually, that's a good point. I got one, two, three... Uh, that, yeah, that's a tall ask. So we'll just take... Oh, I hate it. <laughs> okay. So magnetic... Um, I'm just trying to think of other ways I can kill um, Night Racer out of combat. Um, yeah. No, I'll I'll swing Nemesis into Fangry. I'll swing Nemesis into Fangry. Uh, focus two. One, two. We'll leave him. Uh, Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, I'm at two, three, four. I take eight and go to nine. Uh, eight, five, eight, nine. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Drop return. Interesting. Interesting. And no cards in hand. Nope. Yeah, it's like right now it's almost like you don't want to flip because... You kind of got to save that flip then. It's just a whole cycle. I'll play the pocket processor and that's fine enough. Uh, we will flip angry. That makes sense. If you're anticipating Night Racer swinging into him, get that tough. I do, unfortunately. We'll play a secret action. All right. Chrome Dome will swing at. Uh, man, I feel bad. Uh, I guess we'll swing into Nemesis. All right. Focus two. Drop him. One. Yep. Two. I'm only blocking two. Uh, four two. Taking two. All right, right. tap. I'm down. Draw for turn. <sighs> I guess I want to save you for yeah. later. Let's flip Night Racer. All right. And go Night Racer into Night Racer. All right. That's all I will do. Focus two. Huh. Uh, we'll scrap one. There's my Pierce. It's fair. Two. White Pip. Oh, 
pierce. Dwight Pip. Oh, God. Five pierce three. Uh, I will die. Pierce was real. And then you dodge the sabotage armaments. Nice. Oh, up. nice. Well, okay. Wasn't sure if you were going to go after Fanger or not, so I had to. I was, I was spooked. I was spooked yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And now you're like, I guess you still send Fangry, right? Because you but don't want impressive. Chrome Dome to take a hit. Uh, so oh, you know, yeah, I've got good. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in my deck. Seven and... card, like focused. Oh yeah, you'll you'll get there. So I'm at. So actually, that's kind of interesting. How many uh, one shell stands are in your scrapyard? Uh, one, I believe. One. I haven't reshuffled, okay. so yeah, there's one. Okay. And I'm only running two. One's banished. One's in scrap. All right. So that makes it a little easier. Uh, we'll play scouting mission on Throne Dome. Yep. Draw two. Interesting. Very. Uh, let's take a peek at your hand. What's what's that card in there? Smoke thrower. Smoke thrower. Okay. So I, I missed, but that's okay. A okay. Not, salt, not salty. Um. <laughs> do I want to play that? I'll bring myself in trouble if I play that now. Yeah, I will play it. Then green to night racer. All right. Focus two. Drop them. One, two. Blocking four. Four pierce four. You don't even care. I don't. That's what Fangry with Ominous does. He just yeah, does it. Like, he does what he does. Yeah, take four. Doesn't even look up. Here's your four. <laughs> right. All right. Draw for turn. Yep. <laughs> I uh, was so clever. Um, I guess Night Racer not getting the crap beat out of her for right now is a win. And I am... Mm, okay, I, I'm killing Fangry this turn. We'll play a Smoke Thrower on Nemesis. Okay. And we'll go Nemesis into Fangry. Focus 2. Um... Do I want to draw you? I kind of do. <laughs> yeah, we'll scrap, because I'm already swinging eight. We'll scrap mm -hmm. the piece through Tyranny. Leave the reprocess. Seems good. <laughs> huh. I'm interested to see what you play that. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. And then flip one, fold one, fold two, white pip, white pip. Uh, seven, eight, so nine. Your, uh, card underneath Nemesis. Oh, you're right. Bottom card. So 11, 12, 13, 15. Uh, defending six, take nine and die. Popping out ominous. Um, I want that scoundrel's blaster. Um, just got one card in here. We're gonna get rid of security checkpoint for the scoundrel's blaster. Yep. Those out of town. Okay. Draw one. Draw for pocket processor. Interesting. Oh man, that's interesting. So come down back.
Oh, I don't know if I gave credit for this deck list at the beginning. This is Tank Hunter 48's deck list. I don't know if you um, follow him on, on Twitter or anything. Um, uh, I, did not. I, I don't use Twitter, so I haven't lost one, as they say. Ah, uh, so you did play it. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to play Espionage. Yep. We're going to call it Orange. It is green. Pocket processor. Uh, pocket processor. Seems good. Nasty. Okay. So then... I'm holding it. I, w I guess I was holding it in anticipation that you're going to reprocess uh, sites at some point. Yeah, I, it, I didn't have a good time, it felt like, to do it, but I had to say. So I got the espionage. It's going to just blast around Ominous. Ominous into Night Racer. Yep. So you're swinging, what, five Pierce 4 right now? Uh, four Pierce 4. Four Pierce 4 right now. All right. Focus 2. Drop him. <clears throat> just blocking 2. Uh, taking the four. Taking four. Live with one. Okay. Untap. Oh, Night no, Racer. you still get Chrome Dome. I got my Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome into Night Racer. Chrome Dome into Night Racer. Focus two. Um, no, I don't care about Triangulator now. One. Two. White Pip. White Pip. Night Racer. Dying, I assume you did more than two? Yeah, four Pierce one. Go here. All right. On Tapsies. I mean, I guess this is a different position where my nemesis is not going right into Chrome Dome. Like, I don't think I want to take an ominous attack. We'll see. Draw for turn. How many cards do you have in hand? Uh, I got four. You've got four, and I have this. And you've banished one card. Um, I guess that's just suicide. Oh boy. You've got four cards in hand. You're gonna banish it, and I don't. So, so I mean, we're playing. We're we can talk through this. Uh, yeah. My, I've got pocket processor and security checkpoint. My thought is, yeah. you're gonna banish security checkpoint next turn anyway. So why don't I play it now? Yeah, I lose pocket processor. That allows you to reprocess sites without worrying about me replacing him right away. Um, but I think. Mm -hmm. That's okay, because I'm hoping to reduce your ability to do some damage to me with the Fusion Bore. So that's what I'll do. I'll play re Security Checkpoint, scrapping my own Pocket Processor. Sure. All right. I have the whole line reprocess and a Fusion Bore and Enhanced Power Cell. So you got that, which is which is good, because yeah, I didn't have a weapon on Chrome yet, so you kind of wanted to try to mitigate that. Yeah, that, that was what I was going for. I, I, had, I kind of haven't seen a Fusion Bore, and I was like, there might be an opportunity to play one. Um, and getting rid of an enhanced power cell, I think I'm I'm happy with that trade. Yeah, for sure. Now Chrome Dome has base 18 health, so rather than trying to put some damage on him right away, let's just take care of Ominous before Ominous swings again. We don't need to take that four damage. Uh, focus two. Um, scrap in the power punch. Leave the force field for. Two, bold one, bold two, white pip, white pip. Uh, I assume you don't flip ten defense. Nope, just a measly two. Not quite there. Uh, all right, your turn. Yep. Draw one and draw for pocket processor. Interesting. Very interesting. So, how many cards in your deck? In my deck. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So even with focus, I don't think I get there on my next attack. Yeah. Well, let's see what you got. Because I would focus 
two on defense, so I could burn four. I guess I could. I could get there on my next attack, because with focus and bold. Yeah, I think you do. So I think for that very reason, we're going to reprocess your sights. Guy. Yeah. We're going to risk that. I'm going to play the Energon Axe. Hey, that ain't... Oh, and with one damage, the perfect Energon Axe play. Damage. It yeah. feels good, right? Um, no cards in hand, so I think we just want the defense. We're going to swing Chrome Dome into Nemesis. Yep. No focusing, which is nice. So, seven, fish two. Uh, blocking two, taking five. Yep. Draw for turn, untapsies. And yeah, I think Nemesis just punches back as hard as he can. Bold I mean, he, two. He punches hard. Two. A lot. Bold one. Bold two. Uh, ten, nice. eleven, twelve, sixteen. Pierce one. Uh, defending. Four takes twelve, goes to thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Ooh. I will not take it. Okay. Uh, have we got the end up? Drop a turn. I you do have one, one card, card in hand. Yep. One card in hand, huh? So Chrome Dome, let's take a gander at it. It's a backup beam. A backup beam, okay, okay. Which is funny, because this deck is, like, it's action-heavy. Um, yeah. I just don't seem to be drawing them. <laughs> uh, just checking my blues. So does that help me at all? I don't think it does. Because I'm at. I need to deal five. So, like, hold the line doesn't help. Um, Not too much. Sab too much. Sabotage armaments would. No, I've only got three cards left. So, sabotage oh, doesn't yeah. even prevent the extra plus three. I don't. Yeah. Don't think there's any way Chromedome isn't coming out of this dead. So, the question is. Oh, I should have put that a little bit differently. That's good. Okay. Cool. If you can get to 12. Or if you can, uh, if you can get to like something where Grax is in striking range with a weapon, that's the hope. So Chrome Dome into uh, Nemesis. Yep. Flip two, blocking Ooh. four. Uh, five, eight, nine. Taking five. So why the security checkpoints? Hey, that's not bad. All right. All right. Not bad. Oh, Draw for turn. Eleven. Yep. That's what I need. <laughs> that's what I need. So Chrome Dome dies, um, and then Grax needs to get to seven. Hmm. And you are running, you're well, you're running direct damage in form of scouting mission, and I think that's all I've seen, right? So oh, I actually one got, I stand. got uh, one shell stand, and I got two or three camion crashes in here as well. So yeah, so there's, I mean, there's a decent, because both you can use both of those cards and Grax still lives through, for an attack. Yeah. So you could get there. Yeah. Um, I've already drawn, put a card underneath. I See think I, I got to play the force field on Nemesis to, if you can't direct damage him, then he lives a turn. Um, and then mm -hmm. Nemesis going in with 13 into Chrome Dome. <laughs> Bold 2. Um, I think I flipped those two. So it is 16, and I pick up the pocket processor, drop the backup beam. Seems good. Defending uh, three. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a swift, swift boot to the head. What did I take? All right, Grax, let's see what you got. This is a weapon. So, oh, I mean, if you one okay. shall, you only need to get to five. Okay. And you don't care about the force field anymore. 
Yeah. Or, or Camion. Uh, so you're at 11. Yeah. Or Scouting Mission. Even Scouting Mission puts me... Um, so I, I, actually, I got the one-shot stand. There you so we'll go. Three to now let's see. The key is if you draw into... Or if you flip a blue. Yeah. Which I'm not a very so blue heavy deck. Oh, you got enough, though. I uh, didn't get the Pierce 1. Or I only got Pierce 1. I got 4 Pierce 1. Um, I'm blocking 2, so I take 2. Um, so, no, that's it, right? 14 to 16. Good game. There we go. Good Grax game can indeed. Get there. That's them, them little Titan Master guys. Dude, Grax is just ridiculous. 4 or 5 0 is pretty ridiculous. Very um, nice. I wanted to try another deck, but we've gone one and one. We've got to play the third game, right? Would you like to play the third game? I kind of want to play my other deck as well. So this could work out. Yeah, okay, we'll switch. We'll switch. Yes, yes. This one needs, this one needs work anyway. Oh, goodness. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah I, do, I do like the Chrome Dome, though. Um, this is just my first idea of it in like a blue-black shell. Yep. Um, Ominous Fangry is pretty cool. Yeah, the, I'm trying to think... the, the Fusion War on him is fun. I think, like, dropping... I don't get a ton of value out of Magnetic Dysfunction Ray, and I could drop it... I think I want more, um, like, either another reprocess or... Not necessarily reprocess, but maybe disassemble. Um, something to be able to hit your... Like, hit the, the holographic projectors. So that do you I have can... a back uh, I do, I just... Do I? No, I don't. I should put it in here. Uh, that'd probably be my first one, because it hits Hollow Matter and it hits Force Field. Yep. And it's and because you run more actions, it makes sense to just put a weapon in there that or an upgrade that can yeah, kind yeah. of do that same thing. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, Bashing Shield is one I should put in. OK, 